start from our crocodile stitch section for the gloves. Make sure to check your gauge and it, if you don't know how to do it, check our Creative EU classes on how to check your gauge. I'm sure you're going to get it. To start our gloves, we're going to chain 36 stitches. Slip knot. And make 36 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have our 36 chains and we're going to join them, but remember to be careful not to twist them. Twist the chain, make sure that's all straight, and you're going to join in your first chain with a slip stitch to make a round. All right, there we go. We have our little chain round. Now, as you remember, we're going to start with a round of V-stitches. So I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, uh, first DC of our V-stitch, and another chain one for that chain one that stays in between DCs. The first three chains count as a DC, and then a chain one, and I will DC in the same place where I started my chain three, right here. DC, yarn over, and then skip the next two chains and make another V stitch by making a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet in the same stitch. Once again, skip one, two chains and make a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet in the same stitch. Keep doing this all around for your first row, for the first round of V stitches. Skip two, this stitch all around to the next, to the last stitch. Now we go to the end of our round. And we're going to close the V-stitch, the last V-stitch, to the first V-stitch by simply slip stitching on the first DC. The first DC is that chain three that we count as a stitch. Slip stitch. And we're going to start our second row or our row of scales. Chain three. Yarn over and make four front post double crochets. Remember that this first chain three here will count as a, uh, as a stitch. So you have one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to chain one to make a beautiful pointy dragon-like scale for your gloves. Turn your work so the V-stitch is pointing to the right side here and your second DC is upside down. See here? Here's the top of the stitch, here's the bottom. And we're going to go to five 
front post double crochets from bottom to top around this DC post. Yarn over, I yarn over, I insert my hook here, and I make five, five front post double crochets. When you fold it, you can see the space really easily. So you can just do your stitches right in there. One, two, three, four, five. And we have our cute first scale. See how the crocodile stitch looks adorable when it's in a smaller and um, finer weight yarn. I just think it looks so cute. Um, we are now going to make our second scale by doing what we did in our simple swatch by skipping the next V-stitch, yarn over, and doing five front post double crochets from top to bottom on the next DC of the V stitch. Two, three, four, five, chain one, turn, fold, I usually fold, insert, but you don't need to fold, it's my preference I think it, it's easier, but you don't need to. Um, one, two, three, four, and five for our second scale. And you're going to continue doing this around this first round of these stitches until you get to the end. So let's keep doing it and I will meet you at the end of the round. Now that we got to the end of our first round of scales, let's join them together and get to our next foundation V-stitch round. I am just simply slip stitching on the first stitch, which was that little chain that we made in the beginning, that chain three. Slip stitch, and here is where you're going to start our V stitch round. But to do this, remember that you have to always start on the first chain one space, never where you join the yarn. Nope, not here, right here on the next chain one space. So your scales will be staggered. All right, so let's do it. The easy way is just by looking behind the scales right here, where you see the top of the stitches. I'm sorry, let me clear it, this out for you. Here, see where you see the little V on top of the stitch. You're going to slip stitch up to the chain one. So you have one here, one, and you have another one here, hidden in the back, and chain one, another slip stitch, and now you can start making your first V stitch by one, two, three for the DC, and then chain one, and then DC, and make again V stitch in each chain one space. When you get here on between these two scales that were loose, hanging here. You're just going to anchor them by making your V-stitch right here in this chain one space. And go around doing it the same way so you can continue making your scales. V-stitch in each 
same one space all around and finish your foundation for the next round of scales. Now we got to our last V-stitch and we're going to join with a slip stitch in our first BC, which is again that chain three we made in the beginning. Now we're ready to start our second scale, second roll, second round of scales. Now before we start that, I just want to count how many scales I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six scales. Remember we started with a chain of 36 stitches. So remember that each scale equals six stitches. So 36 divided by six, we have six scales and we're right on target. Now let's do our second round of scales. We are right here on the first VC of the first V stitch, but we cannot start our second scale here. Why? If I start here, let me show you what happens. Let's say I'm starting right here. One, two, three, and I'm going to front post double crochet four times more chain one turn your work and make the second half by making five of those double crochets Let's take a look what happened with our scales. Check this. They're not staggered, they're stacking on top of each other. And for this project, that's not the look I want. I want them to be staggered, to look like dragon scales for my fingerless gloves. So every time, here's the tip, it's not hard to remember, every time we're starting, a round of scales in the round, make sure to walk your stitches with slip stitch. Don't miss the slip stitch in the beginning and just jump into the chain one space so you are in the right spot and you can make your first one on your second first scale on the second every round of scales from now on okay so you will be doing this two rows all the time you're going to repeat uh, row, round um, two and three until the pattern says you have to stop so right now we'll just continue doing as usual make your scales five on the first one and five on the second one with a chain one in between. I want to share with you that these gloves are super hot gifts for the holidays. If you sell your crochet work, they are really good sellers, especially if you make them with really cool yarn colors. And so you can, you know, get a good look with, um, without having to change your yarn, especially self-striping yarn. I, I love self-striping yarn. So I'm not a big fan of 
within and every time you change your color. And sometimes, you know, just don't want to think about what color matches with which color. So I'm not that great with color combination. And I go always for self-striping. But to, I will teach you a few tricks on designing with a crocodile stitch and we're going to talk about yarn furthermore. So keep doing this round and I meet you at the end.